Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Desk Kick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I'm doing a review video. Yay! I haven't done a review video in actually quite some time. It's just been busy. It's been busy, 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 busy. I just got back from vacation and then craziness happened. And anyways, I'm digressing. Today, I want to share with you the launch of our newest two-in-one lip tattoo. So bold lip colors coming in, especially with um, like, I feel like a really bold, like almost like a matte finish. I, I personally still like the dewy look slightly. So I wanna show you what I've been doing with these. It's being launched in our campaign 16 brochure, which is our current campaign right now. And it is going to be such a hot, product. It's called the two-in-one lip tattoo. And why is it called two-in-one? It's because it actually has two ends. That's right. It has two ends. And you can see from the diagram, like the photo here, that one end is like pointy like a pen and the other end is a little bit more stubby. Why is that? It's because you want to be able to line your lips and then color it in kind of like a lip liner and a lip color all in one. So I have already tried this. So this is not a first impression type of a video. This is more of, I've used it for a little bit. I probably used it for maybe like five or six times now. And it really does last. I've been playing around with different types of applications and how I've been doing it. And I've kind of come up with how I like to use it the most. And I'm just gonna share that with you today. So guess what I did? I went out and bought every single color that's available. That's right, every single shade and color that Avon is launching, I have purchased. That's right, so I have a total of six colors. And my thought was, how am I going to demo a long-lasting, basically, lip stain um, in one video? And I haven't quite figured that out yet. So we'll do swatches and then pick one color for you. I wanna share with you a little bit more about this product. So the great thing is it is an all day wear. It does last for a really long time. I wore it a couple days ago during one of my delivery days. And honestly, it lasted through a full day of sweating, chatting, drinking several bottles of water, a meal, and just a lot of talking and like wiping my mouth and stuff. And it did last, like it does fade a little bit as the day goes on, like later on into the day, like I'm talking like hours and hours later. But even at the end of the day, there was still a bit of a stain. Last night, I had put it on before, about a couple hours before going to bed to shoot another video. And um, I fell asleep putting Ginevra to bed. I woke up this morning with the raspberry rebel lips, sorry, the rebel raspberry lip, lip tattoo still on my lips and nothing on my pillowcase, which is awesome <laughs> because um, like if, if it's just regular lipstick, it would have been all over the place by now. And it would have looked like quite literally a bloody mess on my pillow, on my snoogle. I love my snoogle. Yes. If you don't know what a snoogle is, it's like a pregnancy pillow and is the best thing and probably one of the more expensive things I purchased for myself during my first pregnancy that I still am in love with right now. Anyways, that's a whole nother thing. So a little bit more about these gorgeous two-in-one lip tattoos is that the great thing is that there's no smudging and there's no feathering. It really, really, really doesn't budge. I kind of like, the other day I got a little bit down here and I tried to rub it off. Yeah, no, you gotta use like some makeup cleaner to get it off. It is a semi-permanent lip stain, so it doesn't like stay on for the rest of your life. It, it does slowly wear off throughout the day, but like I say, it's like the pigment stays on quite, quite well. It is weightless, so it doesn't feel heavy. Even though there is aloe in it, there there is sunflower oil in it. It doesn't. There's no heavy finish to it. And um, oh, and as I just previously mentioned, it is infused with sunflower oil, which will help hydrate your lips. And probably the aloe probably helps a little bit with the hydration and also soothing your lips, which is great, especially for the summer. It is paraben, gluten, phthalate, and sulfate free. Okay, and also it is a vegan product. Yay! So lots of great things going on for this. We have different colors available. So this one here is the Gnarly Nude. And this one I did try on for my beach day. Um, so this is the point hand, which will be the liner. And then this is the uh, filler end. And like I said, I did use this on the day that I was going to the beach. I wanted a really nice, simple, almost, no makeup look and I used this plus a little bit of the peach crave lip gloss and it was really nice. I got quite a few compliments on that. And so how I'm going to swatch these for you is I was reading online, what is the best way to swatch? And normally when we test lipstick is like here, but you could tell like there's really not much of a resemblance with my hand, back of my hand skin and my lip skin. The color is quite different. So I was reading apparently your fingertips 
are a slightly better place to test. So I have six, so I'm gonna have to use both hands for you today. So the gnarly nude, going on my thumb, the gnarly nude. Okay, when I put it on my lips, um, I did find that it was a little bit more orangey than I thought it would be, but it's still a really nice color. I, I would actually, instead of calling it a nude, I'd actually call it slightly more of a coral, but maybe what they're trying to say is like, it's a nude shade with a bite. I don't know. I don't know what marketing was thinking, but it's still a really nice color. Now this one here is the Inked Rose. And it also ends up a little bit darker on my lips. But yeah, you know, what I, what I might do is I might just do like stripes <laughs> for an Instagram post. I don't know, I haven't thought about that that far yet. Um, <clears throat> okay, the next one I'm going to show you is this one, which I wore last night. This is the Rebel Raspberry, and this one is hot. I love this one. This one's really, really, really nice. And here's a swatch. Yeah, like it's really, really nice. Next, I'm going to show you the Renegade Ruberry. I haven't tried this one yet. This is a brand new one that I haven't tried yet. So this is the Renegade Ruberry, Ruberry? Renegade Ruby. And if I'm butchering any sayings, I apologize. Ah, oh, it's very red. It's actually quite close to the raspberry, but the raspberry has a little bit more purple in it, I feel, or a little bit more blue. So here's the, ras uh, here's the raspberry one, and this is the ruby one. Next one is Misunderstood. Ooh, very sexy. It's quite burgundy or like a brown almost. It's quite nice. All right, this one will be really dark. Okay, and the last one, I'm gonna use my thumb on the other side. It's called Pin Up Plum. Oh, hey, I did it. Okay, so this is the pinup plum. This is the gnarly nude, followed by the inked rose, followed by the uh, rebel raspberry, and then renegade ruberry, ruberry, I keep getting the real berry, renegade ruby. This is the misunderstood merlot, and this is the pinup plum. So six shades in all. All right, which one do you think you would like? Okay, so to demo, which one am I going to show you guys today? I'm going to show, you know what, I want to try the Ruby, because I haven't had the Ruby one on yet. And you know, like I said, this morning I woke up with still some of the raspberry on, and all I did was, I just, after I washed my face, it was still a stain on my lips. But what I did, I just put on like a, um, a little bit of lip balm and oh my gosh, the color was so, 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 so pretty, super pretty. And I want to kind of show you really quickly. So I put this on like pretty much in real time within the, within the last two, three minutes. And here's a piece of tissue. All right. Nothing comes off. Look at that. Like once it dries, it dries. So you also want to be careful of application in that part. All right, so I am going to do the Renegade Ruby. Why not? So a little tip is you want to make sure that you exfoliate your lips before doing it. So have a little bit of like an olive oil with a little bit of sugar mix and just make a little container ahead of time. You can always put it right by the sink. After you brush your teeth, just rub it, rub it rub it, or you can do, even do it the night before, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, wash it off or wipe it off, and then just put some like lip balm at night. Um, my lips have been much drier than normal. I don't know if it's a hormonal thing due to the pregnancy, but I do definitely feel that my skin overall is drier, except for my scalp, which continuously have flare-ups of acne and pimple, which is so gross because I can't even put anything on it, except for I'm using a tea tree oil <laughs> shampoo right now. Um, and it's helping a bit, but it's, I still get these like ginormous pimples. But anyways, I'm once again digressing. So here is the pointy tip. I'm gonna line my lips first. I wanna just line the top for you to see. And then I did an X. Just so I feel like for some reason, it doesn't quite fill in the center part as much. And then I do the bottom. That part's done, so that's just a liner. I could technically line a little higher, but 
I don't really, I don't know, for some reason, I don't love my Cupid's bow, although Nelson loves my Cupid's bow, but I don't really love the, the shape of my Cupid's bow, so I usually go a little bit under it. With lighter colors, I will go on top, or I would. what I would do is I put a little bit of lip gloss on top of it. But to show you the pure color, this is what it looks like on my skin. And then here is the other end. And what I really like about this is actually a quite stiff brush, so it doesn't really bend, which is quite nice. So I'll fill it in. Look at that color, look at that pigment, oh my gosh. So it goes on really thin. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna do another layer. So I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to blot it. You see how a little bit of the dry skin? It's a little bit darker because it absorbs more of the pigment. So if you want a more even look, exfoliate first. But yeah, look at, just even with that time, I just blend my lips. There's barely anything that came out. It's just here where there's still a little bit like I'm on saliva. <laughs> there's a little bit of pink. I mean, a little bit of the red, <clears throat> but it's, it's like, it really does go in really, really fast and really well. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of fill in again, just to layer the look a little bit more, to create a little bit more of um, an even color. There it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, it is such a gorgeous color. We're going to do the drink test. It's been about, probably about 45 seconds to a minute since I did the second layer. Here's my cup. There's my cup. And I'm gonna to pretend to kiss my daughter who's not here because she ditched me today. She's supposed to do deliveries with me today, but she's like, no, I wanna to go to Popo's house. So she went to my mom's house instead. So I'm gonna pretend I'm kissing her. Mwah. Yeah, so the only marky that you see is from the inside of my waterline where there's more moisture, right? But there's nothing else. Like, that's amazing. Like, this stuff, like, this baby stays. I'm telling you, this baby stays days. Now another thing that I've been doing is that I've been using a gloss to just give it a little bit of more um, more shape and if you like it if you tend to like have really dry lips like me it also helps with the dryness right because for a stain this stuff is actually super duper duper moisturizing like because I, I tried another stain with her and it wasn't nearly as hydrating and even look at even on my lip, uh, my, my Crave lip gloss, this, the minted apple one, it's not even smudging onto that. Like, that's how amazing this stuff is. And then, look at, it's a whole nother look. You'll get that pigment that you're looking for, and if you want to add a little bit more dimension, you'd put a little bit gloss in the middle. Like, I, I like the dewy lip look. And so now I have pigment and... I have the dewy look, which is awesome. One more thing that I did, I'm gonna try to wipe off some of this. Yeah, so if you do put a gloss on though, it does come off a little bit more because it's basically it's the moisture coming out and like coming out with the gloss. One other thing that I did though, right, look, I'm wiping it off and it's such little pigment that's coming up. Normally if you do a regular lipstick, it's like, boom, done. So the misunderstood Merlot is a little bit darker than the Ruby Red, right? If you wanna do some contouring for your lips, and you know, guys, you know that I love to mix my lipstick colors a bit, right? You could take the pen and you could f go on the outer parts here, and dye it. And on the outside hurt a little bit more with a slightly darker one. And it'll create just slight, a little bit more dimension in your lips. So now you see like my lips look a little bit more full that way. Yeah. And so I, all I did was I put a little bit on the outer corners here, line it very thinly here. And then I just dabbed it to kind of smudge it in so you don't see a definite line. Or you can use a Q-tip too. All right, see. So you gotta do that before it dries. So you gotta work fast, 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 fast. And then to top it and finish it off, you can add just a tap in the inside lip part. And I'm done. What do you think? 
tell me what you think oh my gosh isn't such a pretty look it's such it is definitely a statement look it's very bold so if you're going to do like a really bold lip i usually try to do a slightly softer smoky eye and today i do have quite a soft smoky eye on i'm using the jade glimmer shadow and the bronzed age glimmer shadow with just like the mark eyeliner um but I would use just like a slightly more subtle eye and then have a bolder lip so it's not like boom, 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 highlighting everything and trying to show off everything. So this would definitely be more of one of my lip looks. Now, the last thing I want to talk about really quickly is that the packaging, the box that comes in and the actual packaging itself. Okay, so this is the box that comes in and then this is the actual pen itself, like the packaging of the pen. And I want to say that the packaging is so so nice it's quite edgy which is fun and i think what they're doing is because uh, i was so sad when avon was discontinuing the mark line avon discontinued our mark line which a lot of my makeup's actually from but they are coming out with a lot of new and innovative products like in a couple more campaigns they're coming up with another new lip product that i'm going to be of course launching for to show you guys but the packaging is really on par with the mark products here so i'm gonna grab out um it's kind of like beat up a bit, but this is like my Mark powder. Like not my Mark powder, but my Mark, um, it's like a bronzer that I use as a blush sometimes in the summer I use as a blush and winter use as like a bronzer. But look how well they match together, right? Like it really does match really well together. It does have a really nice trendy edgy look and even our Magic's tint, the packaging is again also very, very, very trendy and very just, very young and very fresh which i really like it's like i think it's a mix of the black and the um the, the simplicity of it and the the font that they're using yeah the font that they're using which is really really cool so that's it guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this swatch and review video i actually really do like these products i like playing around with it um <laughs> i don't know what else i'm going to be doing with these guys but it has been really fun i've been it's been, it's like one of those just put it on and forget about it and just put on some lip balm as I need to hydrate my lips during the day just because like I said my lips have been exceedingly it's incredibly dry since having like getting pregnant try different colors I find that it is a bit darker but it could also be just my natural undertone of my lip color but I do find that the colors are a little bit darker than what is seen in the actual brochures for me for my skin tone and for my lip tone for you it might be a whole nother thing but all the colors so far that I've tried I really 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 do enjoy my favorite ones probably will be the I use the most is the ink rose and the um the rebel raspberry one those two are really nice but this one like with all the contouring and stuff it's really 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 fun it's definitely like a little like power jess thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up let me know out of all these six shades which one you would you want to try which one would you want to try out on you and have fun with let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you or if you've already tried this product let me know which one you've already tried and what your thoughts are if you guys are new to my channel make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a, a video notification i do strive to have new videos out every single week and you never want to miss when i do have one out i love you guys see you in the next one bye